Kids are often afraid of the dark when they are younger. They have a hard time separating reality from their own imaginations. Imagine though growing up believing that monsters in your mind are real. This was my reality as a child. My parents believed that demons were real. I was often told as a child that if I was ever afraid or I saw something not of this world, I needed to call in the name of Jesus to get rid of the evil entity. My mom was the worst when it came to demons. She claimed to have grown up in a haunted house. Being an evangelical Christian, she was told that ghosts were demons in disguise. They wanted to trick people. She told me stories of hearing footsteps at night. The TV and lights in her house would turn off and on by themselves. She honestly thought there were demons in her house. Problem is, she told us these things when we were super young. I was like four when she told me these things actually existed. I had to be a Christian and rely on God to protect me from these evil things. I was told demons attack missionaries and physically hurt them. The biggest thing that scared me was the exorcist. She told me possession was real, that I needed to be careful so these demons do not get a hold of me and possess my body. Can you imagine telling your four-year-old kid that there are evil things that can hurt you in reality and the only way to stay safe is to use a magic incantation of some dude's name? I was terrified growing up. I could barely go anywhere alone for fear that these things would attack me. I would cry out to God to keep me safe and away from anything that could harm me spiritually. We were not allowed to watch horror movies or movies with witches in them for fear that we would summon demons into our house. I believed in so many things that just didn't make sense in this world. I would have panic attacks that would make me shake and freeze in fear. I was 29 when this fear all stopped. 29 years old before I found out that what I had been taught as a child was wrong. In the past, people had no idea why people got sick or had issues in their lives. Oftentimes, things like epilepsy or split personality were signs that people had been possessed by something outside of themselves. Before we had modern technology to look at people's brains, we had to take a guess as to why so many people had mental health and physical disabilities. Sadly, this ended badly for a lot of people. Many used exorcisms or claimed that people were witches because they were different. They got sick because they had sinned against the gods they believed in or they made a deal with the devil himself. Christians do not have a monopoly on the word demon. Demon has been used by many different religions and groups throughout the ages. Ancient Egypt believed that demons, called wanderers, were responsible for death, illness, and plagues. They could also possess a human body. The Babylonians and Mesopotamians believed that demons came from the underworld and could come to earth to terrorize people. They would wear amulets to protect themselves from them. In Islam, demons can be summoned to teach sorcery and lead you astray from Allah. The list is never ending. I'm a naturalist. I do not believe in anything outside of the physical realm. Christianity damaged my brain for a long time. I lived in constant fear of something that most likely never existed. Because of all these things, I live with anxiety now. I'm working on helping myself get better through seeing therapists and doctors who can help me cope with my mental illness. When I hear about stories that have demons in them now, I either do not believe them or I think that maybe the person might have an undiagnosed illness. When I think about some of the things people in my family say, I can't help but think that maybe... Our brains do not work the way they should, and that with medication and therapy, people I know and love could get better. But I'm not a doctor, and I cannot force people to stop believing in things they want to believe in. I myself will always stay skeptical when it comes to anything paranormal. I'm glad to be free from the fear and dread I often felt as a child and a young adult. Being a healthy person has made me better overall. I know for me and my kids, they will never need to fear the unknown. They can always be curious and seek out the answer themselves. And as for demons, my kids know they're all a part of stories that other people have made up and they will never be mentally abused the way I was. If you like my video and would like to support me, please click on my PayPal, Patreon, or Teespring store down below. And thank you for watching. Remember, only you can break out of the bubble and start thinking for yourself.